Happy New Year and welcome to The Advocate, your Sunday reminder that important conversations are among the necessary tools for a senior society. I will be talking about how we're being abused on a roll. Elijah Felix is going to be talking about 2023 elections in view, the tension in the air. And Stephen will be talking about education, make it the man and the nation. Tony Moyan will be talking about male suicide has to stop to be a man but first speak up we will be back just after the break just stay with us we are being abused on a roll why does it look like the average nigerian has a long-standing relationship with abuse at diverse levels we're making it okay for people to get away with abuse from the family to the workplace and school I don't even want to get started with political abuse where our wonderful politicians appear every four years to tell us sweet words about what they are going to do, which they mostly never ever do. Today I'm picking back on what happened at the Burner Boys concert held in December in Lagos, Nigeria. People parted with their hard earned monies to literally get abused. I learned some people got to the concert venue at 8 p.m. and Burner Boy didn't show up until about 2 a.m. or so. He didn't see the need to apologize because, of course, he is the almighty Burner Boy and there is no one like him. There's no searching of his greatness. He made the attendees believe that he's doing them a favor for even showing up for a concert they paid him for. It's even more appalling that he would treat his fellow countrymen in such a demeaning manner. Wasn't he the one that made the music about government brutality and oppression? Isn't he doing the exact same thing he had constantly talked against? To think that he had to physically assault an attendee by kicking him on the head. Aren't there better ways to stop attendees from, you know, storming the stage? I took time to listen to the words he said that very night, and I was utterly disappointed. I love Burner Boy's music, no doubt, but we must call out bad behavior. If he won't do it at the O2 Arena, why should he dare to do it in Nigeria? Why should he even think of doing it at all? The Nigerians, we must collectively come together and decide that we have had just enough. We're no longer going to be abused at any level. This should be a critical decision in this new year. I'm now going to turn to our advocate and let's just talk about what happened that very night. I, I'm going to start with TM. Tell you <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, yeah. Uh, where well, there's no love, there's no sin. Mm. You know, um, Many industries are left unregulated, right? There are no fines, there are no cessations, there are no regulations for people that, you know, uh, display bad behavior in their industries. Right, like you said, even in politics, what's the, what's the repercussion for a bad governor or a bad commissioner or mm. a terrible, you know, House of Reps member? Four more years mm. as a reward. Right, so <laughs> such a good reward. You know, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> you know, the reward for bad behavior yeah. is more responsibility. Mm -hmm. So until there are proper laws in place, until every industry is properly regulated, I mean, every industry, think about the real estate, customer service. Mm. You pay for a service, you don't get the service. Mm. It's just in recent times that they set up the Consumer Protection Council. This has been up for a hundred years. You know, because so now people are afraid of being penalized. So they try to render service. How did we get the, the viral sensation of you know, what I got, what I ordered? It's just bad service. It's everywhere. Mm. You know, so it's the same thing. You pay for a service, you pay for a concert. And somebody shows up six hours later and then you know, starts to talk to you like you, know, you owe him a favor. Mm. That's because there are no repercussions. If he did that anywhere else in the world, he will be slapped with fines that will be paying for months. Mm. So 
Wow. I don't blame them. Thank you. So, Stephen, what do, what do you think? I, I agree with Tolu. I think it's basically um, the fact that our um, showbiz industry is largely unprofessional. Um, the, the maxim in showbiz world is the show must go on. You must come on time. You must do what you need to do. And you must do it very well. But what seems to be happening is a, a, a little bit of anyhowness. Yeah. People just do things the way they like. I'm a big star and all that. Nobody cares anywhere. And I think it's about time that um, the, um, their fans begin to pay them back by now not attending some of these concerts. I mean, if, if, you, if you have one or two flops as a concert, I mean, you will begin to sit up. And I think also, like Tolua said, there needs to be some unionization. Because Bonaboy is someone that uh, maybe did not professionally train as an artist. But if you have a union, you will then have a preponderance of people who were properly trained in that field. So even if you are coming in, this is how we do things, and you must do it like that. I think that is what is missing here. Well, I'm going to say this thing from two perspectives. The first perspective is talking about role models. Is it proof that the fact somebody is good in his craft, someone is a celebrity and good in his music or as a star or as an artist, does not necessarily make him someone of best character or good behavior? In you've, there are instances where you see people that are nasty, they have nasty attitude, but yet they are good at what they do. So they don't necessarily would not serve as role model to younger people. Mm. We don't need arrogant people. or We don't need arrogance in profession. It's good to be humble. When you meet people or you're dealing with people, be humble because without these people, you will not go far. Your music, if, if you are a musician, nobody agrees to listen to your music. Imagine you have a concert and people say, okay, you think that you are expecting crowd and you came, you didn't see anybody or you saw a few people. How would you feel? So now, the other aspect is, I can't agree less with all what people have said. Regulations, you know, these guys will go abroad. They don't, they don't try this rubbish. They will sue you. So behave well. Stick to your, con deal, what do you call it? You lawyers in the uh, terms and conditions. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the contract agreement. So if there is a problem, you explain and, and apologize. And you can even, because some of them will even offer to even do a free concert later, okay, to make up for this, please. I'm going to do a free concert. So don't make it look as if um, bad behavior is, um, is, I should I use, I don't want to use a local term here, but don't make it look as if bad behavior is something that will make you look fee, -fee fly because you are tough, you're arrogant, they should respect you. No, no, no. And if we extrapolate on it, if you go to public service, yeah. just imagine you go, to queue up to collect your passports. Oh, let me know. I don't want to single out any 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 uh, government para starter, but you know what I'm talking about. Be it um, the passport office, or you go to let's say INEC to go and get your PVC. Or you <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just using them as an example. Or you go to the even hospital. If they say you should go to the hospital to go and take vaccine or do something, some of those professionals there and those personnel, the way they really treat. I mean, they would just talk to you anyhow, like stay in the queue or do this. We don't no attend, you know, so arrogant. Yeah, it's a service uh, issue. I, I don't think it's, 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 I think it's, you can see that it's a, it's, should I say it's a, I don't want to use the word cultural thing, but somehow it's even in our attitude as Nigerians, let's be war. On the road, you see someone driving, he's obviously in, doing the wrong thing, he will still insult you. You know, these things, we should stop it. Let's try to be calm and humble. Yeah. and accept responsibility where necessary. All right, it's super important that, you know, you understand your self-worth fundamentally as a human being. If you're being abused at the family level, talk to someone about it. If you're being abused in your relationship, talk to someone about it. If you're being abused at your workplace, you should talk to someone about it. It's um, high time would stop enabling bad behavior and start calling it out. Of course, I mean, we're going to the polls this February. It's time to use your PVC to also show bad behavior. Um, Elijah Felix is going to be next after the break. Do stay with us.